So, as I said, this is not an exercise of confidence building. It has to be an exercise of confidence projection. We are becoming a new center of growth. We happen to be in the middle of it, I mean ASEAN as a whole. But we have to consolidate. We have to connect. We have to make sure that our infrastructure connect us together so that we can move goods, so that we can move people, so that our consumers can access to the services without even having to move. So, if Thailand is serious, if any member of ASEAN state is serious, it will have to put all the resources and reshape and reform the policies in order to converge with the larger entity of the region, which is ASEAN. We have to look into the future. We have to believe in that vision. We have to subscribe to that idea that it's going to be an ASEAN community by the, by the year 2015, and we have to sacrifice short-term gains from protection to long-term gains through liberalization. We have seen some reluctance, but we also have seen a real awareness that if we want to grow, if we want to compete, if we want to participate in the global landscape, we must make adjustments. Many ASEAN countries, ASEAN economies are opening up. The, deputy, the former deputy prime minister mentioned Myanmar. Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, on the mainland of Southeast Asia, Tremendous opportunities, tremendous resources, tremendous potential as far as the consumer market is concerned. But I have told those countries, don't look for a handout in the form of ODAs. Don't wait for charity. There is not going to be any free gift to help you any longer. Every economy, every country must learn to speak the language of the market. You cannot despise profit. You must make everything conducive and ready and enabling to attract foreign investment. And I'm sure that's what all of them are doing. I'm sure that's what Thailand has done successfully, and I'm sure that's what Thailand has to do even more into the future. Because you have to remain competitive in order to be able to compete with the global community. So, it is my fervent hope that you will be able to see more of these actions and corrections and reforms in order to make sure that you can participate more fully in the growth of the regional economy, including Thailand. I know that many of you are quite uncertain about whether there is a real commitment to open up to each other. I want to tell you that the leaders and the ministers realize very well that in this world of competition, the only way to succeed is to be able to integrate and integrate effectively and move into the future together. Your confidence, your presence, and your participation already 
reflect your belief that this region will grow together, that Thailand will be part of that growth, that ASEAN will be a new growth center for you, being in the center of gravity of the entire new growth region of the world. And I believe the world is giving us a vote of confidence. We have 62 ambassadors to ASEAN working with me directly in Jakarta. We have many dialogue partners knocking on our door, wanting to come into the ASEAN forum, only because they believe that this organization has hope. Only they because they believe that this is on the right path into the future. And they want to be part of this journey. Thank you very much for your confidence. And I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you. So, according to Dr. Surin, it's more integration and not less integration that ASEAN needs in order to prosper in the future. And of course, we need to learn from the European Union and not repeat the same mistakes. See you next week. Sawadee Sky high, embrace the pride in our